Hey folks, it's Darren. Um, <clears throat> we are out, uh, I say we, my brother and I are out hunting at this old uh, Baptist church. Uh, anyway, we've been here about 15 minutes maybe, and uh, I dug out of this plug right here my first, actually my very first target of the day. Um, and that thing is got a film on it, but I believe, uh, let's see, I don't know how well this is going to, you can see part of the wheat stalk on that on that lower side right now uh, in the viewfinder that has that that crust and stuff that's knocked off of it so I'm not gonna do a whole lot to it here I think I can probably get most of that off though um, and maybe get a date on it for you so whenever I do that um, well actually you can kind of make out Lincoln's silhouette right there um, whenever I get it cleaned up I will uh, try to get back and give you all a date on it so anyway we're gonna get back to digging thanks all right, guys, uh, my brother and I are out uh, again today. We're at Old Church outside of our hometown. But um, he just dug a weedy earlier, I think from the 50s, and I just got my first coin target of the day. And it was it was a decent signal, but I really thought it might be a zinkin'. Um, it was pretty deep down in that hole. But uh, it came out, and I thought it was going to be a weedy, and the more and more I started kind of rubbing on it, put a little water on it. I think it's gonna be an Indian. So that is good stuff right there. We've got an old coin from this site. We've been here for, I don't know, half hour, maybe an hour. I haven't really turned up much. So we kind of assumed it had been hunted um, before by some people. That they'd you know, pulled all the goodies out, but maybe that's not the case. So, but that's, I'm pretty sure that's an Indian. You can see one cent on the back. I need to put a little more water on it, see if I can bring any more detail out, possibly get a date. But anyway, um, I'll try to do that. If I can get a date, I'll uh, check back with you and let you know what it is. All right, guys, real quick, uh, got a little more water on this and got a date, and it looks like it's going to be a 1905. So, if you can see that, yeah, just barely. It's a 1905 Indian. So that is good stuff. That is a good, good find. I can, I can go home happy from this side, actually. That's my one and only find from here, but maybe we'll find some more good stuff. So I'm going to keep on hunting, see if we turn up anything else. Hey, everyone. It's Darren again. Um, I wanted to kind of give you all a better understanding or idea of uh, the building, the old Baptist church that we were hunting. So anyway, that's... Uh, looking from the west but anyway uh we've been out here probably about an hour and a half now uh, my brother dug a 1905 indian just probably 30 minutes ago and uh, the targets are few and far between but when you get one chances are it's going to be old and out of this plug right here i found my second weedy of the day um and it looks to be a 1920 five i believe um i'm gonna do some more cleaning on it but really good sign where uh when the targets are here they're old so we're gonna get back to digging and uh we'll let you know if we come up with anything else hey it's darren again uh just giving you a quick update i was just about 10 yards that way um on that last weedy which is about five or ten minutes ago just working my way down here and I believe I've got another one. Let's see. Um, looks like 1941. So, anyway, good stuff. Old coins around here. Nothing really new. Um, so, we're going to keep on uh, searching and see what we can come up with. Alright guys, it's been about five minutes. You can see that big clump of green grass right there in the middle of the frame. That's where that other weedy, or that weedy I just dug came from. And uh, I was walking back along and got a screamer. And uh, got out of that plug right there. And there she is, ladies and gents. I have no idea yet, but I know I see Silva. So we're about to reveal it live for y'all. See what it is. Alright. It's going to be a Merc. I believe, according to the back of it. Let's see if we can get a yep. Another slick merch. That's what was coming in like a weedy. Alright, alright, alright. 
see if we can. Looks like it's going to be a 36, maybe. Yep, 36 mark. All right, that's what we've been looking for. Man, it's a good ratio around this place, too, though. I think we've only dug, I've dug one modern, and it was, I mean, it wasn't even zinking. It was a copper memorial, so. Anyway, we're going to keep on digging and hopefully get some more of these beauties out of the ground. All right, everyone, it's Darren. Um, we are getting ready to wrap it up. Uh, We've got to be back in town for something, but uh, hunting along on the same side that I've been at, and out of that plug right there came another weedy. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can get it focused in for you. Get it away from the ground. There it goes. I believe it's 20 even. I don't know for sure. I, I can see 192, but aside from that, I can't really tell anything. Um, it looks to be in pretty good condition, so we'll get it cleaned up and uh, we'll share the stills and everything with y'all uh, shortly. So, anyway, we uh, we're going to keep on digging for five or ten more minutes, and then we're heading out. So we'll definitely share anything if we uh, if we come across it. All right, guys. Uh, quick update: I got my second coin for the day. Darren has uh, followed up my Indian with I think three, four Wheaties and a Mercury dime, but uh, I just got a real deep signal here but it was there and uh, I can make it out and dug it up and it's a uh, it's a weedy the 26 I believe so so far I got an Indian 1905 Indian head scent and a 1926 weedy so it's good stuff got a few more uh, minutes to hunt here before we have to leave so we're gonna keep uh, keep going see what we can turn up we went back to the old church again the next day and found a couple of more coins in all, we ended up leaving this site with a handful of Wheaties, a 1905 Indian head scent, and a 1936D Mercury dime. There are many old, abandoned church sites like this one scattered throughout the North Texas area, and most of them are still surrounded by great targets just waiting to be found. Mm -hmm.